I need a way to rinse the excess uncured resin from my 3D prints, but I don't want to spend any money. So today I'm going to build a resin wash station with magnetic stirring. I recently got a Creality LD-002H 3D printer. It's not the most elegant name, it's kind of a mouthful, but man does it produce some awesome results. Incredibly detailed prints come off this thing. You might have seen last video the Spider-Man that I did, which looked spectacular, or maybe you saw that Scorpion from Mortal Kombat that I did a little while back. Either way, as I mentioned up top, all of those parts, as soon as they come off the printer, need to be rinsed in isopropyl alcohol to get any of the uncured resin off of there. Then they get cured under a black light. Until all that is done, it is not safe to handle them with an ungloved hand. I wouldn't touch that stuff if I was you. I could buy a resin wash station for between $70 and $150. But you already know that I'm not going to do that. One, because I'm me. And two, because you clicked on this video. It's pretty obvious I wasn't just going to go buy a thing. So here's how I'm going to make mine. I'm going to utilize magnetic stirring. I'm going to do that by using an 80 millimeter PC case fan and gluing two neodymium magnets to it. I'm going to place that inside of a 3D printed platform. Now, on that platform, I'm going to put a dollar store Tupperware knockoff container full of isopropyl alcohol, and then I'm going to drop in a magnetic stir bar, which is just another 3D printed part with two more magnets inside. Those should hopefully be attracted to the ones on the PC case fan, and when I spin that fan up, it should spin that magnetic stir bar around, creating a healthy little vortex. That should hopefully get that isopropyl alcohol up and into all the hard-to-reach areas of my models in all your private nooks and crannies. I designed this project from scratch, and yeah, sure, I could have downloaded somebody else's project, but the reason I didn't is I want to make sure that it fits all the parts I already have. So my speed controller, my case fan, my magnets, all of that stuff, as well as my dollar store Tupperware knockoff, need to fit together perfectly, and that means doing it myself. Thankfully, it's a very simple design, went together in a flash, and look, that's why you're going to see a very brief design and build montage right about now. Well, that's all well and good, Ken, but does the thing work? Can the ding-dang thing do what it ought to do? Let's find out. Well, yes, it does technically work, but I ran into some issues with the magnets. See, it's vital that the spacing between the stir bar and the magnets on the case fan be just right. If it's too close, the stir bar won't spin, and if it's too far, the centrifugal force is enough to send it flying off to the side of the container. Now, I used popsicle sticks temporarily as spacers in order to try and dial this in while I was printing the new permanent spacer. I also tried several different designs of stir bar to see which would give the best vortex, but in the end, my original design seemed to work the best. I'm likely going to continue experimenting on this thing moving forward. A couple of things that I'm hoping to accomplish mainly are going to be higher RPMs on that magnetic stir bar and more torque, which maybe I could get that by using a larger case fan and moving the magnets a little further apart. 
I don't know. I know literally nothing about fluid dynamics. So if you have any ideas, if you have any thoughts, especially if you know something, please leave a comment down below and tell me what I am not thinking of. Look, I, I don't know how strong or how turbulent the vortex is on the Anycubic wash and cure station, because again, I didn't want to spend the $110, $120 to get one of those things. But, you know, I'm pretty happy with the results I got out of this, especially considering I was using the stuff that I already had lying around. That's all right. I got all my own stuff. All right. That's it for this video. Listen, if you like what I do, if you like this video, the number one thing you could do that would help me out more than anything else is to share this video with somebody else you think might like it. Sure, like, comment, subscribe, all those things are great, but sharing, sharing is caring. Caring for me. This outro has gotten really weird, and now I'm done. Bye. Except for the dollar that I spent at the dollar store, but that's... And my very special, unique little magnets. They're not that unique, but they're mine, and they're special to me because I already own them, and they cost me nothing now. Sunk cost. Resin wash station with magnetic stirring. It's like the most difficult sentence in the world.